right afternoon y'all I am here to give y'all a short review on the iTech Elite 3 um, it is something sold in Walmart um, basically how this channel works is I find things that I don't really see good enough reviews on and I go ahead and review it okay um, I'm gonna you know cut this out right this is my YouTube page by the way um, but like look I go I go on Google and I put the iTech Elite 3 right when I go in here let me up the brightness for y'all do, 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 do. right if I go to videos right there is some TikToks, stuff like that how to connect it these are more than likely from Walmart themselves and then here's one right here on YouTube right two minute video Right, so Rachel has uh, a review on an iTech smartwatch. You don't know which one it is. You don't know if it's the one, the two, or the three. This video is from three years ago. And it's only two minutes long, so it's not really going to give you a whole lot of in-depth to it, right? So here at my channel, right here, we're, we're going we're gonna to show, show you everything about this watch right here. So let's get straight to it, okay? All right. So first thing, I'm going to take this out of the box. I got lucky. I got it for $19 on clearance. It's usually $39, $40. $40 which I guess is not a bad price if it does what it says it does. Um, I hope it does what it says it does. We're going to see though. Um, this weekend, what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to have a step counter on my phone. And I'm going to have this counting my steps as well. I'm going to use the heart rate monitor. I'm going to I'm going to check everything out. And I'm going to see how well this thing works just like by itself. Arm. This is this is what it looks like on a male arm. So I'd say it's a pretty good size. Not too big, not too small. Um got a good wrap around here too it's got this like nice like uh what like plastic material only thing is if you get sweaty this is gonna feel horrible for sure um, this is the charger right here it's a USB A and uh, you just plug that bad boy right on top of it so I'm going to charge it, I'm going to see how long it takes, and then I'm going to get back to y'all. Okay, so interesting. Um, this one has like these prongs here, and it has to match up with this. So you got to like, you got to like, you see you got to match it up right here. And then it's got to, I guess it's just got to touch it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. So... It's, uh, it's charging. I'm gonna let it charge to maybe like 20% and then we'll uh, go from there. Okay, so um, I got this thing uh, fully charged up. It's not connected to anything. Mm, set time and date. Okay, so we're on day two, or uh, day one, I mean. Um, I'm gonna have to have to see about the, whatchamacallit. So far, it's good so far. I've done 3,000 steps. The battery is still full. Um, you can kind of customize the watch face on here. So, so far, it's been good. It's been nice and comfortable. Um, we're gonna go day two. We're gonna see how long it takes for this thing to die, right? Okay, y'all, so um, I've been using it for two days now. Um, it does pretty damn good at tracking. I did um, I did the, tr the steps on my phone, and this is very accurate. My phone steps are a little bit less because of the fact that I put my phone down. Um, but yes, it's really good at tracking that. It does your heart rate. 
um, and it does your sleep too so you can go in here and you can go in and you can click on sleep and then I can show you some of the previous days let's see let's see here right it says my sassy shows you what it's been for the week and then there's an app on your phone that you can look at the stuff from like the previous days now it's been going for two days now and the battery is getting kinda low so we're gonna see if it can get to a third day with um without having to uh to charge we're gonna see how that goes i'm inside of a costco right now um i'm just gonna show you where the watch is at right now. so currently the watch is at five percent um it's still tracking everything quite nicely um it's been more than two days because i put it on at 2 a.m so it's been going for about 60 hours ish so I would say this thing is going to die maybe in the next hour or so. So maybe the battery is good for maybe just two and a half days, give or take. Okay, y'all. So in terms of battery life, this thing is pretty darn good. Um, I haven't charged it since 2 a.m. on Friday, the 13th. So it's been, char it's been going for more than 60 hours, two and a half days. Um, in total, I say that's 66 hours. It's at 4%. I honestly think that this will last until tonight. I'm going to still not charge it all the way through the night. And I'm going to see how much longer it goes. Um, you can see here that it says I've done 6,000 steps on here. My phone, it says 5,000, but I did put my phone down during the day. So it's quite accurate when it comes to steps. Um, there's an app. Let me show you all the app. So this app has all the data that is on this watch. And I'll put it right here. So you can click this and you can see all the stuff that you've, you've done, calories burned, everything. And then here, look, it'll show you your sleep. So it says here I did six hours of sleep today, yesterday, seven hours. And this is when I first put it on at 2 a.m. So it's pretty darn good with that. Um, you can calc your water. It'll tell you your heart rate stuff from the day before. You see, right here, my low, my high, my, it's, it's not bad for $20. Guys, I paid $20 for this watch. It's $40 regular price. I think this is not bad. Um, my girlfriend has the sash, looks, it's a little bit smaller. It definitely has a lot better features on there, but this gets the job done. And you have to charge it maybe once every two days. Okay, y'all, so I got one more thing to show y'all that I didn't realize that you could do on here. Um, other than looking at these things here, there's this section here where you can actually download one of these um, special designs for your watch. And it happens quite quickly. Um, I actually put one on mine. So other than the ones that are stock, you see this one? This one looks like a nice look. Um, you can go on here and you can go to classic. That's the one I have on right here, right? And they actually have quite a bit of options. And then you can even do a custom. Go from your gallery, right? And then let's say we do uh, this photo here, right? This is uh, my girlfriend right there. We're going to hit crop and we're going to put that right and it does it pretty quickly and then hit save and your watch will restart after default it's downloading it's downloading so you see here now that photo is uh nicely on the face of the watch um that's pretty cool uh let me show you all this right here though that i thought was interesting you can go in here and um there's a stopwatch right you can even do splits right and then restart it and then you can also do um workout music look at this y'all i'm gonna give you all a full tour 
So look, you can do a uh, workout music, running. You can start, wait, did I say workout music? Heck. Okay, y'all, so look, you can do a workout history. You can go in workout mode so it can track your workout. Um, you can use it as a music remote to skip the songs if you have something playing on your phone. Um, and then, um, sorry, I keep, I promise you it works better when it's on your wrist. Um, you can connect the weather. See right here, Houston, Texas, 89 degrees. And then you got the forecast, all that business. I think that's pretty sick. And then um, the, uh, what you call it? You can do relaxation, five minutes of relaxation. And then your alarm, the alarm is the only thing that's kind of trash on here, not gonna lie. Like if I put the alarm to 6.29 p.m. today, Tuesday, right? And let's go out. Okay, so we're gonna wait till it becomes that time. Right, take a like, there we go. So now it's going off. As you can see, there's no sound. It just vibrates and I'm not gonna lie to you. It It's not a strong vibration. Like if you're sleeping, this is not going to wake you up. So do not depend on this alarm. This is like alarm for like you're awake and you're moving around and you just need something to tell you when to stop doing something or to start doing something. This is not a wake me up alarm. Um, definitely use your regular alarm. Um, but other than that, this watch is pretty amazing. For what I spent $20 for, this is amazing. Um, I would definitely recommend getting it. Like I said, it's called the iTech Elite 3. There's like a one called the iTech Sport 3. That one, uh, from what I've seen, is not as good as this one. I think it has less features. This is a good one. Almost three days of battery life, customization, tracking of heart rate, workout, all that business. Uh, this, this is good. So, like I said, I am just a reviewer. I'm not paid. I might just do this for fun. So, so finally, yeah. I would say this is a really good purchase um if you spend the 40 dollars although go to your local walmart because i went today to walmart and i found a whole bunch of more watches like this on clearance so just go in there and see if they have those watches on clearance get it for 20 bucks um and if you've made it this far you know you've watched this far just hit that subscribe button i don't send out notifications with my videos you'll only see them if you are interested in what i'm posting already so just hit that subscribe button for me um, I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow this channel, I'm working 80 hours a week, and I'm trying to publish a video or two um, each week. So thank you for watching, and uh, y'all yeah, have a good one.